right, what's going on guys? It's Chef. We're back here on some more Modern Warfare 3. Today, we are going to be playing some Rustment 24-7. They finally added this playlist here that consists of Rust and Shipment, the classic. I know that a whole lot of people have been making jokes and talking about how much I'm going to play Shipment. The time is now. So I'm going to be playing some hardcore Shipment like the old classic. Been doing it for the past, I don't know how many years at this point. And going into Black Ops, I'm probably going to be playing some hardcore Nuketown as well. Real quick, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on yesterday's video. Even though it, it was like a 20 minute long video reading a patch notes and stuff like that thank you for all the likes as well and if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more modern warfare 3 leave a like on this video and also if you're new here subscribe i upload basically every single day and i haven't stopped for like 10 years so oh my shotgun out on it you already see my strat right holy fuck why are they keep spawning I throw my trophy system on my sentry gun. Oh, uh, the classic shipment strats. It's absolute slime ball shit. So petty. Dude, you want to know how petty I am? Recently, I ended up calling this place for some information, and I needed to talk to an actual human being, like not an automated system. And I spam my way through the automated system to try to get to a human being. And usually, I don't mind automated systems, but like I specifically needed an actual human being for this one. We love shipment. So because I know that there's no possible, like I know the place that I call is not busy. I know for a fact that they're not busy, but I didn't want to go all the way there unless I got the information I needed. So anyway, I was calling the place. I know that they're not busy. I, it is a place that is not that busy. They ended up putting me on hold. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll just be on hold. I'll be waiting or whatever. And then about 20 minutes pass. And I know for a fact that they're not busy. I know for a fact they are not. And they put me on hold. And put me on hold is fine. But put me on hold for over 20 minutes in a place where I know for a fact you're sitting there looking at me. There's a little light that shows that somebody is sitting there on hold. I know that they see it. So instead of me giving up and hanging the phone up, I completely muted myself on the other other side turned my volume down on the phone down entirely so i don't need to listen to the you know waiting and hold music anymore and i'm going to sit there in that call until somebody picks up and then when they finally do pick up they're gonna realize i'm not there and they're the one that's gonna hang up i'm not hanging up for shit they're hanging up if i hang up they get what they want they wanted to fuck me off it ain't happening as soon as i hear like on the other side of it the music will stop and everything get my hopes up go oh somebody's coming they're gonna get that same exact feeling when they pick that line up and they go hello and then they have to hang up. Here's the thing. I know that they close in a couple hours. If my phone starts dying, I'm plugging it into a charger and I'm leaving it there until they fucking close. I don't give a fuck. Now, I would use double XP on this new weapon, but there's really no point. And I'm also just going to save it as much as I possibly can. Look at this. I already got some of them stacked up. I don't even know where I got this double weapon XP from, but I had zero across the board for well over like a week or two. I got regular XP. That's cool. Battle pass XP. Cool. But the weapon XP, that's the valuable one. And they know that. They know this is the most valuable one. I'm saving all of this. All this XP that I'm looking at at right here it's already in preparation for black ops 2024 and i mean if the grind is around a similar amount i think i had around like 20 hours or something maybe like 15 hours some shit i'm gonna need more than that why would my teammate kill me like that I love me some shipment, dude. Man, the sentry guns are so easy to get to. Holy fuck. They're not good in, like, core, but they're actually pretty good in hardcore because you only need a couple bullets. That's it. I'll keep spawning there. I know how these spawns are. I'm curious now. Wait, what do these other camos look like on a uh, shipment? Well, I mean, the Karambit doesn't look that good in general, but... Uh, I mean... Man, that shit glows. They wanted to win that game more than they went positive. Shipment is an absolute clusterfuck. There is just so many explosives. People are using that launcher as well. I mean, it's expected, but I'm using EOD, buffed EOD, by the way, fixed EOD, and it still doesn't make a difference. It's insane. There's no honor in shipment. So, I mean, it's expected that it's going to be an absolute, just no respect, all disrespect, the most cheesy shit possible. I'm using smokes along with thermals. These guys are getting frustrated with the thermals. They're throwing their own thermals on. Then we got the counters to the thermal where we use the hijacked IF. FF strobe and you use your own thermals then you start shooting your own explosives over there because if they ended up picking that gear then they don't have the other EOD unless they're running engineer rust how did this get through no shipment only what are we talking about oh 
Oh, it's so nice too that the guy can't hear me coming around that corner like that. Actual skill gap instead of just sitting there listening. way when the, I was watching them spawn. The spawns are even crazier on this one. Because they got the sledgehammer spawns, this shit is like, it's sticky. Still flips though. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but you can, you're definitely gonna trap. I mean, people trapped on the other one. That's just kind of how it is. You can figure a trap out for virtually any map on a specific game mode anyway. That's a skill gap though. Spawn trapping's a skill gap for sure. That's just game knowledge right there. It's like picking a play in sports and shit like that. Like you make adjustments, you pick something preemptively, you sit there, you try to look at it, you try to read the defense or the offense, see what you think that they're gonna do. You just kind of adjust accordingly. That's exactly exactly how this goes. You see that they're going for the spawn trap. You know what they need in order to get that spawn trap going. So you sit there and try to put a wedge between them and holding that spawn trap. Now, I know if my teammates push on the right side, like, real hard, they'll spawn right in my crosshairs right here. Right here in this corner. They'll spawn right there if our teammates push up the right side. But they can't at the moment because the other team is spawning right there in that corner. Because I'm looking at this. But see, as soon as the teammates push up there, they're gonna spawn there. See, it's just knowledge. There's nothing that I'm doing in particular. I'm not telling my teammates to do anything. I just know where they'll spawn. That's it. Put the sentry gun down, put the trophy next to it. Because they're for sure gonna throw explosives at it. Spawning on that left side, but my sentry's looking there. So they're actually gonna spawn on this side and want to push out immediately. Our teammates are pushing over there, so they're still spawning in front of my sentry gun. But if we actually lose position of the sentry gun, they'll spawn right here in this corner. See? <laughs> because I'm standing here like this, my team gets this spawn now. It, it's all about just knowing. The difference between a good and a bad spawn system is that predictability right there. If you can actually control it, it's an actual good spawn system because it's consistent. If you can consistently work your way through that system and understand the system, it is a consistent system, which makes it a better system than an inconsistent one that makes absolutely no sense. Because a system that makes no sense at all, there's no skill gap there. Destroys the flow of the game, destroys your general game sense, and especially in a game without these loud ass footsteps and stuff to alert you of those other things, it's nice that they're actually consistent spawns. This is the shit I've been begging for for a long time. I spent years in that montage scene doing shit. It all revolved around getting them in the spawn trap to get the highest chance of hitting clips and shit. That's what it's all about. That's literally multiplayer. Two teams fighting towards holding the spawn trap. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh, what do you know? They hung up. The call was an hour and 36 minutes. I told you I wasn't gonna be the first one to hang up. I'm sitting here spawn trapping. And since I know somebody hung that up, now I can call back. No, I'm just kidding. But I told you I wasn't gonna be the first one to hang up.